All right, thank you, Adam. Workers bouncing between Bear County medical facilities could have exposed large numbers of people to COVID-19. Officials confirming today staff at a Southeast Side nursing home ravaged by the virus may have also been working at as many as seven other facilities. The San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg today amended the city's emergency order to prohibit nursing staff from working at more than one location. Our Dylan Collier reports now comes the task of determining whether the damage has already been done. The confirmation was a sobering reminder of a virus that knows no boundaries. Days after a COVID-19 outbreak at Southeast Nursing and Rehabilitation Center that has already taken the life of one resident and infected well over 70 residents and staff members, city officials revealed that among the employees battling the virus, there was a floating practitioner who also worked at this Live Oak nursing facility. Both businesses are operated by the same company. In all, staff members at Southeast may have recently worked at as many as seven other nursing homes and hospitals in Bear and Wilson counties. When we discover that, we want to cut that loophole off immediately. Like Southeast, three of the other nursing facilities, the Rio at Mission Trails, Buena Vida Nursing and Rehab, and Advanced Rehab, all have Medicare.gov ratings of much below average. And it's likely that possible exposure extends beyond staff and residents at these nursing care facilities. On the list provided by the city today were two hospitals. Patients and staff at these locations are in the process of being contacted by the city. The important thing that we're going to do today is go triage those seven facilities, see who is symptomatic. If they're symptomatic, we're going to either treat them, but they're going to get swabbed. And any worker there that may be symptomatic, and we hope they've stayed home, we will swab them also. Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.